Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Kamal. If you are finding us first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notification. I will try to make this video as simple as possible and hopefully by the end of this video you will be able to understand how to create calculated column and major and what is the difference between calculated columns and major and how we can create variable index. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Let's get started. Calculated columns index. Sometimes we want to analyze data but does not contain a particular field so we have to create calculated columns. We can write a DAX formula to add a calculated columns to any table in our model. A calculated column formula must return a scalar or single value. For example, let's say our data has first name Jasmine and last name Khan fields but we want to create a single column field that has both like calculated column. For example, full name Jasmine Khan. Example number two, in the sales report, we want to display product categories and subcategories as a single value, like iPhone accessories, cell phone into smartphone, and so on. So we can create a calculated column that combine values from these two columns. So here we have a simple calculation by the help of this we can create calculated column. This calculation we gonna apply in Power BI. Let's move to Power BI desktop. So now we have opened Contoso cell sample for Power BI desktop. There are many ways to create a calculated column. First way we go to modeling. Here we have calculated column. Before creating a calculated column, we will go back to our file properties. So here we have Contoso cell sample for Power BI desktop file. If you will see here size, so file size we have 49,665 KB. And we will discuss later. We are gonna go back to Power BI desktop. So now we are gonna create a new column in the cells table. Just select the cells table and create a new column. This is the first way to create a new column. But we will go to the our data model and click cells. So here I am gonna create a new column for example gross profit i would like to do some calculation in the sales table i want tax sales amount subtract the total cell and the result of that actually going to give me gross profit now just click on the new column So we are going to define column name, gross profit equal to sales amount minus total cost equal to table name sales, sales amount minus table name sales. and total cost so i'm gonna little bit zoom so we have here gross profit equal to sales table name column name sales amount minus sales table name and column total cost just click this one or hit the enter button 
So now here we can see we have a gross profit. in a new column. So this one calculated row by row. This is our first example. So now we will go back to our report. Take a card. And gross profit. So this value is show me in my Danish Krona, but if you want, we can change into dollar. So we have a currency format here. Just click on dollar. So now it's gonna be changed into dollar. So now here I'm gonna create product full category. Right click product subs category, create a new column. You can or you can apply the same method which we use for gross profit. Product full name equal to related. product category and person sign double cot equal to product subs category Now here we don't need to use table name because already we inside that table and enter. So now here we have product full name. Before we have product subs category like this and but in our report we want product full name or product full category. So audio equal to audio accessories and so on. Increase the font size. So now here we have full product category. And we can use also gross profit here. So now we're gonna save. Now we're gonna go back Contoso cell sample file and now you can see here we have 53,853 KB. Whenever we will create a calculated column so it will increase our data model or file size. We're going to discuss this in the topic calculated column versus major. Now we will going to go back to our slide. Majors index. Majors can help us whenever data does not include everything to answer some of our most important questions. 
measure can be used to perform calculation on our data as we interact with our reports. Considering our requirement situation, where we want an aggregation that operates over the entire data set and we want the total cell of all rows and we want slice and dice that data by year, by employees, by product and so on. To complete these tasks, we will use major. Sum of cells, majors are usually aggregation, a very simple aggregation we can use as example in a sum of cells. Total cells equal to sum cells amount. Now we're gonna go back to Power BI. We already know in the modeling tab we have option here. New major here. If you want just click new major here or I want to click here cells and new major in the coming video I'm gonna create a new table where I can keep all my major but now I'm gonna click new major total cells equal to sum table name so we gonna give sales and here we have a sales amount tap and close parenthesis and enter so here we have create our first major total sale and click click here change the format dollar and now here we have our cell and we can change into card and if we want we can take our product name take major so here we can see our product name and total cell or we can also see here which we will use before our product full column name so I'm gonna increase the font size Okay, so we're gonna rename this column product, product full category, enter. So here we have product full category name and total set. So now we're gonna discuss third topic. Majors versus calculated columns. There is a huge difference between majors and calculated column. So first we're gonna discuss calculated columns. Calculated column use precious RAM for storage also increase our data model size. If you remember before creating columns, our file size was 49,665 KB and after creating columns, 53,853 KB. So this is a not good way to create calculated column if we don't need it. 
calculated column are based on data which is already loaded into our model. Define an expression that is strictly bound to the current row. Categorize text or number, for example, a range of values for a major, a range of ages of the customer, such as 0 to 18, 18 to 25, and so on. Majors A major operates on aggregations of data defined by current context which depend on filter applied in the report. We can aggregate values from many rows in a table. Majors are typically better because they don't use space. Always our first priority to create majors in Power BI Tax. Variable index we will discuss in the next video. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friend. Bye bye. Take care.